big thing this year is the uh, launch of the fabulous Christmas decoration collection, which I think very much does what it says on the tin. I don't think uh, um, anyone's going to be terribly surprised to see me coming up with a, a, a black, pink and silver Christmas theme. What I think is very important about the Spring Fair is that it has a very, very defined sense of marketplace to it. A lot of shows are there to just be about inspiration. A lot of shows are there to just be about product launch. I think the thing that happens here is a kind of a dialogue between the people that are making, the people that are designing, and the people that are then ultimately selling, which is actually very, very creative. I find it terribly important that when I'm going from you know, a launch of my cutlery to a launch of my Christmas decorations, I'm seeing loads of stuff that I wouldn't normally get to see. You know, it's like sort of flipping through a magazine or flipping through a Rolodex of lots and lots and lots and lots of different product areas, which are actually always going to be inspirational. They might not be specifically something I'm working on at the time, but I'll look at something and go, well, you know, that could lead on to something else. And it also is just it's a very, very good place to then meet up with the people that are ultimately taking my designs and selling them, taking them out into the marketplace. It's something that would be very, very difficult to live without, uh, to live without a point in the year when everybody knows that everybody is going to be here showing what they're doing, um, talking about what they're going to be doing in the future. Um, because you can't, you can't do that from the internet. With the internet, you're just, you're just focusing in on one element. You know, you're not actually networking which I think is so important in design, but also in retail, and particularly at the moment, that all of us are seeing what people are buying in macro terms rather than micro terms. Three or four years ago, there was a real sense of colours being on trend or not on trend. Now it's much more about diversity. As people are being um, much more literate about their purchases and much more capricious about their own taste, they're happy to entertain anything. Um, and again, it's very important to be able to see as much as possible with that, rather than just honing in on it. You know, the last thing you want is someone saying, right, well, okay, you know, red's in, so you only buy red. You've got to see it in the context of everything else.